Hello, YouTube world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is in your location. I am starting up Dreamweaver. My name is Laura. I've been a tech for a very long time. Very underpaid. One of the things that I have paid for, though, at this time is Creative Cloud. And I have a passion for wanting to create websites that are functional once again. I don't want to say that too close to another slogan. But the websites have very light font. They have moving pictures that give you seasickness. They have great big huge pictures for no reason. They have lots of wasted space where the font is very small and hidden and hard to read or they hide everything all together in the hover function and you're supposed to guess through the top of your head going okay there's nothing on the screen. Oh I have to move the mouse around on the screen to find something on the screen. Okay, so we have all of that and more going on for a while now. So I wanted to get into Dreamweaver. I have worked with code before. Of course, I'm going to be rusty at the moment, which is fine. Doesn't bother me at all. I want to look at how they are teaching people today so that I can correct it where I find it is dysfunctional. So I'm going to roll with it and then try to find what I can find to fix it. Whether it's, a, you know, they create new words that you know, make imaginary sections and things that didn't used to be there before, just like the hover function. So I have to study what they're actually doing out there in all of these websites in order to find, figure out how they do what they do in order to fix it and change it and correct it. Um, so I'm going to start with home quick start. This is a fresh install of Dreamweaver. And this is version. Let's take a look. Don't know when anybody's watching this video, if ever, anybody ever does watch it. Uh, this is Adobe Dreamweaver. And see that font is real tiny right there. And all this white space right here. They expect you to be able to read that. It's so tiny. And then they got this stuff scrolling. You're supposed to be able to read that too, I guess. So it says 2.1.2. So that's the version number. And they want to make it real tiny. So let's guess, what font size would that be? Eight. No, it might be ten. Eight or ten, somewhere on there. I was taught in college the font should be twelve or above because we're supposed to be making websites for other people to be able to read them. That's what I was taught. I know this is not a website, but the same concept of someone else. Being able to read what's on the screen is very important. And this is really tiny. So let's hit escape. Close that. No, I didn't read the names. They're just scrolling along. Uh, excuse the fireworks outside. I don't know who that is. They do that quite a bit this time of year. Hopefully it'll be over by the end of next week. I don't know. This week. Okay, so we're going to go one at a time. We're going to start with Bootstrap. And we're going to take a look at it. 
new document, HTML, bootstrap, create new, I'm not going to attach CSS, I'm just going to open it just as it is, design, include a pre-built built layout, hmm, click customize to add to the grid and breakpoint values, use extract to build your page from Photoshop comps. All right, so we're going to just do this and see what we get. Receive. See what we receive. So what's going to be on the screen? Very basic. <clears throat> so they have this here. That menu is old. All that stuff is old. Huh. Anyways. HTML header. Okay. Nav, navigator bar. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay, some basic code. Now, I automatically try to size this. But still, this text is very tiny. So I do have to study to remember everything. Basically, this is a list of something. <clears throat> um, span. I forgot what that was. Button. <clears throat> Navigation. Navigator bar or something. Head. Tag, body tag. Oh, that box disappeared. I, I guess I was supposed to read that. Oh, yeah, that box had a bunch of stuff that just flashed by, and each you're supposed to read all of that stuff. It's not made for the person who's actually looking at the screen, it's made for the person who developed it. Oh, this looks cool. Let's do this. No, you should be relating to who's going to be looking at it and who's going to be reading it. Okay, so, meta, meta, meta tags. So, th these are information such as keywords. <clears throat> the title is going to go on the top of a website. The title bar way, way up at the top after the website's open. And let's look at one. Let's see. No, I don't want to do that right here. Let me see. No, we'll look at one later. Right now, we're just going to look at um, Dreamweaver. So, this is the basic. They even have scripts that are way at the bottom. What this really shows you right here is a top to bottom hierarchy of how they, you know, what's the basic format of outline format for a website now if I click on any of these things over here they will highlight down through here so let's click on the top and you see it goes all the way across this area right here the red line it goes all the way across and cursor down here so it is right there. It says nav bar. That says nav bar. So, and the reason I lay, I explain it that way is because these are things that are in every single program. Is to you know you need to use your intuitive uh, learning abilities to check these things out before you start coding or changing anything. This is how you learn. Nav bar right here. Now I did that. I did that highlighting and it highlighted all of this down here. All the way up to there. So that would show, see the word disabled, I don't know if you can see it, 
There's a word there that says disable. It's a really light gray. That says that's this word right here. Okay, this is like a menu, a drop down menu. It has menu items. Or it goes to, if it has a little arrow, it has menu items. It has a list that goes underneath it. If it doesn't have anything, then um, it just goes to another web page on that particular website, which will be a subdirectory. Um, so this says disabled, and that's where it goes. It's called disabled. The link goes to disabled. So this is a link. This is where it is on the server, and this is what the word is that's in the menu. So you have that little arrow right there on both sides. Those letters, numbers, or whatever is there are the characters that are on the menu. Okay, like this one. Something else here is... Right there. Yes. Where is it? Uh-oh. Where is that one? Drop down toggle. Um, oh boy. Now it's confusing me. Action. Another action. Something else here. <clears throat> so link. See, link, link, right here. It says link. Home. It says home. But drop down. Okay, drop down is supposed to be. There. And. I guess what they did was, you can't see it for some reason, but all of these classes are menu items in the drop-down. And these words are supposed to be there in that drop-down. This is each individual, like if it said, um, you know, drinks and main menu and you know dessert I mean these would be three different web pages in the drop down but I don't see the words up there that say that so I see toggle drop down toggle nav guard drop down Nav bar drop down. Hmm. So here I have to learn more details of how, you know, the it's set up. And that's what I'm here to learn. Okay. But I have the basic idea and I'm gonna have to study it some more. Alright, so I clicked on the big I clicked inside this space right here because in my experience with all the years I've been working with computers, you know, if you click on an empty space, like right here, then it should, and it does, highlight the big square, I believe. No, it doesn't. It highlight. it went directly to this. The idea was to do that, but that's not what it did. It went right here. Okay. Because that's where this is. If I highlight down here, like that, it highlights this in blue. Look at that. The whole idea that we're doing right now is to see how the code down here looks at the page up here, how they interact. This page I call WYSIWYG whenever I type the code in here. 
this page should show what it looks like on the page. What you see is what you get. WYSIWYG. That's W-S-Y. What you see. W-S. No. What you see. W-Y-S. Wiz. I. Y. G. What you see is what you get. I W Y G. <laughs> what what you see is what you get. WYSIWYG. Okay. So when I highlight this up here or highlight this down here, basically when I work with the code, I highlight this down here. It gives me the blue square. If I highlight this, it goes to the button. And these are the different properties that relate to the button. See, it says button. And it is a button. <laughs> a button should be programmed to click on it. And then it does some type of action. Yes, I'm yawning a little bit. Some type of action. All right. So if I highlight this. See now the the advantage is when I highlight above, it shows me in the code where this is located. So that's the advantage you do receive. The disadvantage is there's only so much room on the screen and it's very tiny. The font is so hard to read and everything. Okay, so. So that's how to read basic code in a web page. There's a lot up on top here. If I click. Scroll, nope, you can't scroll anywhere. Okay, let's click on the search button. Click, and there it is, search. But, class. My dash two, my dash sm zero. I have to find out exactly what that means. Form control, form inline, form inline my two, my L, G zero. I don't know. I have to study that. And there's a lot of different sections I have to study. So that's an introduction, though. I'm not going to um, make each video too long, if at all possible. I just want to go through this one by one and a little slower so that people who actually want to learn can learn. I'm not going to edit the video through a training section session. Um, yeah, I like to learn with somebody when they're teaching me, and this is what I am trying to do for other people who like to learn. All right, so that's an introduction to photo, um, uh, Adobe Dreamweaver. Thank you. Sorry about that. And have a good day. I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. Have a good day, YouTube. Bye.